Hey guys, it's Sarah, and today I am here with another layout using some of the Nicole Jones 911 Designs printables. And today I'm going to be documenting part of a trip that we took when we were living in Florida, and we went out to the Gulfarium, which is uh, like a big aquarium um, out in Destin, which was close to our house. And we took the girls out there one day and spent the afternoon out there, and it was a lot of fun. And um, I have a few layouts documenting um, our day there, but this one is, I think, the last one that I needed to do to document that experience. So um, I'm finally getting this one done. And I'm using some browns and yellows. Those are my main uh, colors here. And then I'll bring in some blues as well with the printables and my thickers and all that stuff but the background and the papers are going to be brown and yellow and I just use one paper pad for this I, grow, I have a ton of paper pads guys like I need to start working my way through them <laughs> for real um, and that one is getting close to being empty so I think that's going to be a paper pad that I'm going to start really pulling from here soon to make some layouts and stuff but um, I am inking the edges with I think walnut stain from Tim Holtz at Distress Ink. So I'm just gonna ink the edges of these two papers here. And I did cut down this larger yellow by half an inch so that I could see the wood grain background paper there um, nicely, like there's a nice big chunky border instead of having something a little thinner because I wanted to make sure that the wood grain was, you know, you're able to see the wood grain because there is wood grain in my photos here as well because we are standing like at a wood fence and stuff and I put my photos on this piece of brown polka dot paper that was just a scrap from my stash and I'm going to go ahead and lightly ink the edges of that just to kind of give it a definitive edge and then I'm going to cut out this really large viewfinder from Nicole and um, I printed the one that has the blue and the green and I'm going to use this really large blue viewfinder and I'm going to use this as a design element to kind of uh, put behind my photos a little bit and have it sticking out and that will um, go right there. And so I like where this is going so I'm going to go ahead and start putting these things down and um, very simple layers this time. I don't have like a ton of paper or anything like that. I kept this one a little bit on the more simple side. And then I had this paper clip sitting on my desk for a while and it's yellow, so it's perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this and I'm putting a piece of washi tape just to kind of keep it in place on the back there. And then I'll go ahead and have this here. Now I'm gonna use um, some thickers and I had I pulled two different options. I didn't know what font or what shade I wanted to go in, but I'm going to go with the blue glitter. Why not? Let's just go for it. The rest of the page is pretty simple, so like blue glitter is going to work here. <laughs> and I'm going to spell out the word stingrays, or stingray, just one. And I did not have an R, so I'm going to grab an N, and I'm going to make an R out of an N. So I'm just going to cut off a tiny bit there and make it an R. And you can't even tell, even though this is a foam thicker. And then I will use these tiny alphabet texts from Nicole to finish off my title. And I'm going to spell out the words conversation with. So my entire title will be conversation with a stingray. And um, the pictures here show that we were standing at a stingray exhibit. So there were a ton of stingrays, uh, you know, swimming around in this area. And that one on the bottom there, he poked his head out and was making all these noises at me and I kept talking to him and it was almost like we were having a conversation because I would say something and then he'd make some noises and I would say something and he'd make some noises and he sat there and stared at me like that for a good 10 minutes and in the top picture is you can see me and him like I'm looking down at him and he's looking up at me and then um, the bottom one is a picture that I took from my view there so it was kind of it was really funny so uh I'm going to go ahead and put down my letters. I'm just using my ATG on the back of each little one, so it's going to take me a couple minutes to put those down. <laughs> but a uh, conversation with a stingray. And then I did punch out one of those circle 
printables from Nicole and then I'm punching out a camera here as well. Um, the circle is where I'm going to do my journaling and I like that it fits right on the center part of that viewfinder really nicely and it's going to overlap the pictures. I really like the way that that looks. And then I do have this camera here that I'm going to put right next to the word stingray so that it kind of helps fill in a little bit of that awkward space there underneath the letters. And I'm going to use a navy blue banner here from Nicole as well. I will use that up here. And then on top of that, I'm going to use one of these words here, um, also from Nicole. So getting all these printables used up in some way, shape or form here. So I'm taking out a word tile that says captured. And I think I'm gonna use one more. I'm just trying to decide which one I'm gonna use. These are the scrapbooking word tiles. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this one here. I think it says documented. I'm pretty positive. Yeah, that one says documented. So I'll use one up on the banner and then one that actually goes across the seam of my two photos. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my journaling on my circle tag here. Just telling that story. And then I want to put this I want to raise this up since it's going over across a couple of layers here. So I'm going to use my foam thickers that I have. These are leftover thickers that I don't have. Um, I can't make any words out of them or anything. So I'm using these as adhesive from now for now until they're gone. I'm using them as almost like um, foam adhesive basically. And obviously only one side of the thickers are sticky. So I have to put them down and then I use my ATG and I just run across the top of them and it works perfectly. And now it's dimensional. So. I have been enjoying that and I'm using up some thickers that I would not be able to use otherwise because I just can't make any more words out of them. And now I'm going through my own die cuts here to see if I can add anything else. Um, I do find a couple of speech bubbles which are perfect since I'm talking about having a conversation. So I have a yellow one and then I'm going to find a blue one in here as well. And then I find that blue tag and a little blue ticket and then I have another word tile there that says uh, hello lovely one. And I think that's all I'm gonna end up using for die cuts. I just needed to fill in a couple of these little spaces here and um, just add a little bit more. So I do lift up my camera there to put that one down. And then I have to, after the camera's off, I go back and I have to uh, reinforce that down a little bit. Cause when I pulled up the corner, it stayed up a little more <laughs> and you'll see it in the close-ups too. <laughs> but I have since um, fixed that. Just had to stick it down on the corner a little better. Uh, so for the tag, I put some yellow twine through the hole there. And then this one, I'm just gonna cut up a little bit and stick it out. It's just a cute little ticket and we did need tickets to get into the Gulfarium. So um, I thought that went kind of nicely and I put a ticket on both sides there. And then the blue speech bubble and then I'm gonna use these enamel dots that are in yellow to highlight couple of areas here and then that's going to complete my layout guys so um, I hope you enjoyed it please let me know if you have any questions at all and I will leave a link to Nicole's shop down below please make sure you go check out her shop and her website and um, use my discount code to get 10% off your order and I will see you guys again soon hope you have a great day bye